how to care for ourselves. 60 schoolmates are going to share this with us. Please welcome Sarah, Cassie, and Lorit. Good evening, parents, teachers, and schoolmates. We are from 60 FYP Group 2. Today, we are going to present our FYP. Our topic is transforming stress into motivation, making friends with stress. Oh no, I'm so worried about the FYP presentation tonight. What should I do? What's wrong? Are you okay? You look worried and full of stress. I'm totally not okay. I'm really worried about tonight's presentation. Hey, don't you remember what we have learned in our final year project? As we have so many audience here, shall we invite them to join us? If you suffer from any of this reaction to stress, please raise your hand. Do you suffer from chronic headache or backache? Next, do you have difficulties to sleep at night? <laughs> Are you unable to stop thinking about your worries? <laughs> Are you constantly tired? <laughs> and do you get irritated over minor things? If you've got none of these symptoms, perfect! You're lucky to have a peaceful mind. Maybe we can even pass you the mic to conduct a mindfulness session for us this evening. Just kidding. If you got one, two, three, congratulations. You're one of the typical Hong Kong people. It's perfectly normal to have some stress. However, if you got four to five, please do pay extra attention to our presentation. <laughs> hmm, now I understand. Now, let's start, let's start the presentation and teach everyone about stress tonight. We have chosen this topic because it's a serious issue in Hong Kong and also some schoolmates are facing a huge amount of pressure on their academics. Parents have also requested their children to do a numerous amount of exercises just to prepare for their assessments. In extreme cases, children under a huge amount of pressure may even commit suicide. Our objective is to transform and decrease the pressure from students and not to let them face extreme cases. Our three major parties are students, parents, and school. So far, we have done the two major actions. The first one is a visit to the moving wellness truck organized by the Hong Kong Federation of Youth Groups. In the truck, there were a few activities for the visitors to release their stress. For example, a tree for us to write down our stress level, and we are all inspired by it and tried using the idea for planning our second action. Next, we invited our mentor, a private registered psychologist, Mr. Daniel An, to do an interview with us and let us know more about his thoughts and information about stress. He taught us different ways to cope with stress, how to turn our stress into a positive thought so we can stay happy. He told us that students can suffer from different kinds of stress. Some may suffer from a mild amount of pressure, and some can only suffer less. The primary school students, especially for the primary 5 and primary 6 students' stress, mainly comes from the SSPA and the secondary school's interview. The secondary school students are also worried about the DSE result as it will affect their future. Instead of competing to be the first, we should be the unique ones and try our very best. Therefore, we should find our strengths instead of just comparing with others. Surprisingly, social medias like Instagram and Facebook can also affect our stress level as we may compare ourselves with our peers. Mr. An suggested we use the fight method rather than the flight method, as fight can give us positive energy, but flight will give us negative thoughts which may give us stress. The graph below shows the relationship between the stress level and performance. Now, we would like you all to watch a video about fight and flight method. This video is mainly talking about a hunter who wants to catch a tiger. If he uses the fight method, it will give him positive thoughts to fight. 
but if he uses the flight method, it will give him negative thoughts. Stress may seem like a byproduct of modern life, but the feelings which cause it are as old as humanity itself. An important part of our evolutionary heritage is the physiological capacity to respond instantly to a threat or anything we perceive as a threat. We've come a long way, but the fight or flight response is still there. Today, we call it stress. This innate reaction automatically prepares us for direct and decisive action. Unfortunately, our body responds the same way even when direct physical reaction is no longer appropriate. Here are some photos we took with Mr. M. As you can see, each one of us played an important role in the interview. We all have our own responsibility during the interview. After many discussions, we plan to do something similar to the emotion tree to let our schoolmates release their stress. Currently, we have made this robot named Sunny. Students can write on a piece of paper we provide to express the stress level on that day. There is also a QR code for them to scan at home, and there are also some simple ways to teach them how to release stress and inspiring quotes about turning stress into a positive way. On the 2nd of May, we have done our second action at recess, which is organizing a booth with our robot, Sunny. Most of the students liked our booth. After we finished our action, we had analyzed the data of the things that make the students feel most stressed according to our booth. Here are the results. According to the chart, most students feel happy because of playing with their friends and having free time. However, students who feel angry or worried is mostly because of assessments and tests. By letting our schoolmates scan the QR code, there are some wonderful quotes, and we hope they can learn different ways to solve their problems. On our school open day, we also shared our FYP project to our guests. We had a great success and had many interactions with them too. Here are some photos we took. Now, here's a little joke for all of you. What word can you get if we spell stressed backward? That's right, it's dessert. Here are some people we would like to thank. They helped us throughout the whole year. We would like to thank Mr. Daniel Ann, our mentor, for letting us know more about our stress level and how to relieve our stress in different ways. His encouragement and sharing has inspired us to be stronger and more positive. The Hong Kong Federation of Youth Group for launching the moving wellness for us to visit. We all had a fruitful experience there our parents and teachers for their support throughout the year and giving some ideas and sharing our happiness with them. Last but not least, to our own group mates who cooperated with each other in every FYP lesson. Every group mate tried their very best for everything we did. We would like to end our presentation with a meaningful quote. Adopting the right attitude can convert negative stress into a positive one. We hope that our presentation can inspire you. We wish you a happy and healthy life. Thank, Thank you and goodbye. Thank you, Sixie. Indeed, with the right attitude, there are lots one can achieve. Another category of the FYP transformation is business. One group researched on online shopping and they have found that the online shopping platforms can be modified to the ease of use for the elderly, who can benefit from the convenience comparing to the traditional way of shopping. Another group focused on advertisements. They think that consumers need to know the pros and cons of a product before making the purchase. So they have created a YouTube channel and produced honest review products and videos targeting on children and preteen products. One more group is interested in e-payment. 